and that wraps up this vlog from Pat Collins Fun Fair here in Coalpool on Swanee's Field. Um, the offering here, the lineup, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Screen the Miami. It wasn't the most intense, but I still got a bit of floater airtime on it. Uh, sort of near the beginning of the cycle, it wasn't too bad. Um, then the Ghost Train. Um, I definitely prefer that one to the one I, um, I go on at, at Harry Jones. It's a lot bigger. It's got the spiral lift hill. And it also got the drop as well, uh, which is always quite fun. You build a decent amount of speed on there. So yeah, that's, that's good. Um, and there's quite a few props and UV theming and the big skull face, which I quite like as you actually go down the drop. Um, there's also a big spider as you go up the lift hill. Um, there's a sort of jump scare with a skeleton at the beginning. Um, so, And you've got the buzzers as well, um, where you get these sort of monsters in front of you and the buzzer goes off. Obviously you've got one at the drop at the end and then there's one sort of the drop indoors before the actual outdoor drop. So I quite enjoy the ghost train here, it's pretty good. Um, I had two rides on Superstar. Oh, it's one of my favorite traveling rides on the traveling circuit. I really enjoy that. Um, it's, it's so forceful and there's quite a few different parts. There was no messing around on that. It just got straight up there. Um, and then flash dance, which I was running really intense. I came out my seat quite a few times. It's the really, the, the best bit for coming out your seat is when it sort of spins around quite slowly, but you've got these really um, intense kind of bounces on it. Uh, oh, the superstars just sent there. <laughs> so getting some off-ride footage from outside the Funfair uh, perimeters. Um, but yeah, it it's just running so intense. Uh, and the cycles are quite long as well. Uh, I really enjoy both of these flat rides and then obviously you've got the traditional Miami um, and the ghost train. So it's a really good offering, quite intense rides here, two of our favourite travelling fair rides. It's quite hard to decide which one I prefer out of the two um, because they're pretty much at all of these Pat Collins fairs but I think I prefer Superstar just because it's so forceful. Uh, they're two completely different rides and um, one of them's intense because you come out your seat a lot and one's intense because you're kind of pinned down to your seat because of the force. Although when you're upside down, you do feel you're pinned into your restraint, even though it doesn't feel like you're upside down. So it's a really good lineup here. It's a shame, obviously, it's the last day, so I can't really recommend it because, um, well, today's the last day um, that this fun fair's here. But Pat Collins' fun fairs are really good, and um, I went to the Blockswitch one a few months ago, and that also had a great lineup when I did Superstar for the first time. And Tagada was running really intense then as well, so. It's a great lineup um, with some great rides, and it's definitely worth going to the next Pat Collins Fun Fair because they advertise which one of the next one is on their Facebook page and on social media, so you can see where they are next. And it's it's always a great lineup with two of my favourite travelling rides, and they're both really intense as well.